Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. If this is your first time, please click that subscribe button, click that bell, get notifications when we post up new content. We have been busy, busy, busy working on this barn. Uh, we got the fencing all up for the animals. We got fencing up around the trees to protect the trees. Uh, we've moved a lot of plants, moved some bamboo around. So uh, things are moving. Uh, we are uh, moving and grooving. I had a concrete guy come out. I got to take that thing down in the next two weeks. We're going to lay a huge concrete pad and the building should be here four to six weeks. Huh, I'm so excited for a new barn. Yeah. He's been busting by. We had our neighbor come out the other day. He is amazing. John, thank you so much much he is an electrician and he came on his day off and helped us update all of our wire we've kind of had um, not enough go into all the power that we have now you know we've built so many new exhibits lately um, you know the animals need heat still it's still the weather's been kind of yo-yoing so making sure they all have their heat on my kitchen too when it gets hot my AC unit doesn't work very well so he spent all day Saturday updating everything with Brian so that was we amazing. like tripled our power to the sanctuary oh, so, so much safer too so yeah, that was a big nothing's project. tripping and it's mm -hmm. yeah it's it's big so we told you in the last vlog that we have a huge 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 announcement we are so excited to share with you um, an amazing animal we just got in uh, about a month ago We've been keeping her under wraps. Uh, stay tuned and we're going to introduce you to our newest ambassador. So as you guys know, uh, we had our baby sloth born here, Lima, and he's growing up. He is like hitting 10 months old and he's starting to become pretty independent uh he's getting annoyed with mom he's leaving mom a lot mom is like leaving him a lot um he did his first event when we did yoga the other day um he's grown up to be a big boy so it was time for us to um start thinking about next steps with little lima and we are so excited to introduce you to lima's new girlfriend luna Right behind me here is Luna. She is a three-year-old uh, female two-toed sloth, just like Lima. Um, we got her from another zoological facility um, and she has been here for almost a month now. She is settling in wonderfully. She's hanging out. She's the cutest little girl and I cannot wait. We have done no introductions yet. Lima is still on mom, but I cannot wait to uh, get these two together and uh, we'll have two sets of sloths. So um, that's better for our tours. You know, when we do all of our tours, we do uh, everyone gets to meet a sloth and that puts a lot of pressure on the sloths so um, we uh, now have a, another sloth to be able to kind of uh, train she was not ever done encounters so uh, Kylie and myself were working on training her all right so Luna here uh, like Brian said we've had her for about a month now still getting to know her you know sloths all have their own personalities I will say so she's a really laid-back sloth and I don't know if you hear, it's really light, but she's kind of talkative. Sloths usually don't make many vocals, but she's kind of one that will kind of grunt and kind of huff and puff at you a little bit, huh, Luna? But she's very laid back. Um, she loves her squash and zucchini, which is a little bit funny because usually Lily um, goes right for like the sweet potato or corn or cucumber. And this one here, she loves her squash and zucchini. So we've just been working on hand feeding her, building the relationship, building the trust. A lot of people don't realize, you know, sloths, yes, they're very lazy, but they're naturally don't want to snuggle with people. You know, we're not a natural thing for them to actually hang out with in the wild. And being picked up and passed around and messed with too much could be a little scary. So building that trust and relationship can actually take a lot of time with sloths. And so we're just going at her pace. We're making sure she's comfortable with us, which she definitely has uh, gotten to know us, I think, even over the past month. But it could take a little bit of time before guests even start to interact with her. But like Brian said, it's going to be really awesome to have another pair of sloths. So we, you know, we've been super, super busy this past month. So it'll be nice to be able to have a couple different uh individuals that people can meet that way we're not asking too much from just you know lily or lima or whatever the case is so we're really really excited um to add luna to our family here at amazing animals and uh we're just gonna let it be up to her when she feels comfortable and starts coming out and wanting to meet people we can't wait to get her going on interactions and letting you guys meet her but that's gonna be up to her and right now it's just been fun getting to know her hi luna 
So when Lima's totally ready and he's totally done with mom, or Lily is totally done with him, um, we are going to actually uh, separate them when they naturally want to separate and they are done. And that's something that they would do in the wild anywhere between 10 months and a year. Um, and then we are going to slowly, slowly, slowly incorporate Luna with Lima because what I don't want to happen is Lima to just walk over to her think it's like another mom and try to jump right on and Luna's like heck no I've never had a baby get off me I don't know what you're trying to snuggle me with so we're gonna have to have a little bit of time in between um, to kind of let him know hey you don't have to snuggle on a sloth anymore um, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see we've never actually um, transferred a baby like that to another sloth but I do want to do it pretty quickly so that way it's like a seamless thing they both get to know each other from right away and uh, I think they're gonna be perfect together but you never know we have a plan but they may totally change our plan so we may um, have to kind of throw some curveballs and we may have to make some decisions on the fly so who knows but our plan is for them to be um, perfect and wonderful together and love each other and hopefully in the future have more babies for us so Kylie went to grab some food to show you guys um, kind of how we start building that relationship with our sloths. And, um, you know, Luna, when she came to us, she had only ever really eaten off of a bowl um, on a platform. So she's never actually eaten food from a human's hand. And because we do encounters with them, we like to reinforce them and have guests feed the sloths. Um, so we have to actually train them to be totally used to taking food from people. So Kylie went to grab some food. She's on her way back right now. Here she comes. And uh, we're going to show you some hand feeding. Uh, it could go horribly bad. We don't even know if she's going to take it from us. But generally, she will take a couple pieces from us. All right. Look at this delicious diet right here. So she is very spoiled. Uh, our sloths get nothing but the best, of course. So we've got some yummy kale, some squash, zucchini, sweet potato. And so this is what we've been doing each day with her. Just kind of getting a nice big... Uh, breakfast she does seem to like it a little bit later in the day sloths are a little bit more nocturnal but we'll see if she wants a sweet potato hi luna you want that oh good girl there you go so she very slowly gently takes the nice little sweet potato so she'll just work it on uh, that and it's actually really great just being in here and talking around her and getting her used to a little bit more commotion with people um sloths are super sensitive they're super um hyper aware of their surroundings they've got really good hearing a really great sense of smell not the best eyesight um so working with them you know thinking of those things you know all these sounds different noises you see them definitely aware of things so it's really great to be feeding her this is reinforcing me talking it's something that she's going to be getting used to and definitely getting to know my voice and um, I kind of talk a lot doing our tours so that's definitely a good thing for her and then you can slowly you know pet her real soft you see her kind of she feels that so just getting her really comfortable baby steps with them just building that trust relationship um, again a lot of things naturally are scary to sloths so you really have to take the time and let them get to know you as much as you get to know them um, so she's been a really really fun addition we are in love with her already and uh, it will take me you know a good 20 minutes I'll hang out with her let her eat she's a sloth so she eats a little bit slowly but uh, it's great that she's already this comfortable with us and we can't wait to see the progress that she makes Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We hope you are as excited as we are about our new special announcement. Uh, I'm really excited to see what Lima and Luna think about one another. Um, again, we're going to let Lima, you know, once she's done with Lily, kind of slowly introduce them. But it's been so fun just getting to know Luna and building that relationship. We are so excited to have her as a new addition to our amazing animals family. Yes. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Uh, we could not get another sloth without all of you out there. Um, we are busy. Uh, electrician updates, barnyard updates, um, super busy with tours and shows and uh, Earth Day is right around the corner. We got a yes. couple big events for Earth Day. We're still doing virtual events. So yeah. um, I, I've got our vet coming out next week. It's going to be yeah. vaccine update day. So vaccine. You know, we'll do a vlog all about vaccines because yeah, that's should, coming up. That's, that's a, a big day. Yeah, we're going to literally go through everyone. So once a year, we always have our vet come out and just go through everyone. Yeah, preventative sure preventative healthy. medicine is super important for what yep. we do around here. Vaccine but, day should be fun. So yeah, lots of good stuff It's going stressful. On. It's not fun. <laughs> no, no, it is. It is. I, I'm preparing yeah. ourselves. Preparing <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for the love and support we love you uh thank you thank you thank you stay safe be kind and as always go out there do, do something, something amazing, amazing.